start the first problem in the tension members this is the analysis type problem let me read the problem a 300 isf indian standard flat section of 8 mm thickness is used to connect a 12 mm gusset plate by m20 poles calculate the minimum net area of the plates if chain bolting is done as shown in figure 1 zigzag bolting is done as shown in figure 2 so they have given the different arrangements of bolts for first case they have given the chain bolting in the regular manner in the second case they have provided the bolts in the zigzag manners in that they have marked the pitch as well as the gauge we know that pitch is the center to center distance between the fastest measured parallel to the direction of the force gauge is the measured perpendicular to the direction of the force in zigzag bolting pitch is 50 mm gauge is 60 mm okay they are connecting a plate with a gusset plate using m20 bolts so diameter of the bolt is 20 mm the width of the section flat section is given as 300 mm thickness is given as 8 mm they ask to calculate the net area minimum net area because minimum net area will be critical one that will be used to calculate the tdn value tdn is a strength due to rupture of the critical section the critical section will be the the uh, a net section area which is having very minimum net section area let me solve the first problem sorry first part of the problem chain bolting where diameter of the bolt D is given as 20 mm I will calculate the diameter of the hole by adding 2 mm for the standard clearance as per the table 19 page number 73 I got the diameter of the hole as 22 mm let me see the figure once again here I will I have marked the three different paths path 1 to 1 2 to 2 3 to 3 all the three paths having the same number of bolt holes that is the diameter of the hole is 22 mm so we can calculate for any one path that will be similar to the other path okay first from figure 1 all the three paths possibles for the failures are possible so along the three paths path 1 1 2 2 3 3 so okay, all the paths have the same number of diameter of the hole n as 4 to calculate the net area of the bolt the formula is b minus n d n b minus n d n hole into t where b is the width of the plate n is the number of bolt holes in the considered path dh is the diameter of the hole here the diameter of the hole is 22 mm okay then n number of holes along the path line n is 4 the width of the plate given in the problem is 300 mm so let me substitute the values a n equal 300 minus 4 into 22 into thickness of the plate given the problem as 8 mm so I got the net area is 1696 mm squared this is the net area of the plate for the chain bolting type next coming to the zigzag bolting see this figure let me number the bolts 1 2 3 4 5 6 from the right side ok next I got to consider the all possible failure paths all possible failure paths the failure may be either 1 2 3 4 5 6 so purely vertical that means we will have only we will have only two holes all the paths if they provide two holes means the uh, net area will be the same we can calculate for only one path so the other possibility is also there 
the path may be either through see from the edge to 1 1 to 2 2 to 4 then 4 to edge 1 to 4 or, or 1 to 3 3 to 4 4 to edge so first one is 1 to 4 in that how many holes are there 3 holes how many staggered pitches are involved that means how many number of inclined lines involved in that is 1 okay let me see, see one by one for path 1 to 2 we have a number of bolt holes is 2 staggered is 0 for path 1 to 4 1 2 4 how many holes are there 1 2 3 3 holes that's why n equal to 3 now um, how many staggers are there staggered pitch that is how many inclined lines are there only one that is also between 2 to 4 that's why I have marked here as a staggered one n equal to 3 staggered one if we consider the other path 1 3 4 1 3 4 this is also having n equal to 3 stagger equal to 1 stagger is this time between 1 to 3 so if you calculate for the these two possibilities 1 2 4 and 1 3 4 that will give the same net area so we can consider only 1 1 2 4 alone that's why i put tick mark there then coming to the next path 1 3 2 4 1 3 2 sir uh, uh, how we can uh, consider these paths and all there are two rules are there one is the path will not return back at anywhere that is the one rule second one is path will not happen in the horizontal line because we are applying tensile force if you move in the horizontal line means the failure is through the purely shear that will not happen so this is the rules for the considering the failure path okay then 1 3 2 4 see, see the figure see the figure 1 3 2 4 how many holes are sir? there along this pathway 1 2 3 4 holes so I have mark n equal to 4 then stagger 1 2 3 it is staggered 3 to 2 again staggered 2 to 4 again staggered how many stagger lines are there how many inclined lines are there 1 2 3 that's why I marked as staggered 3 for the considered path 1 3 2 4 similarly I will consider the path 1 3 6 4 1 3 6 4 see this 1 3 6 4 1 to 3 inclined line 3 to 6 inclined line 6 to 4 again inclined line how many inclined lines are there 3 therefore staggered is 3 how many holes are there 1 2 3 4 holes again n equal to 4 staggered is equal to 3 for both these cases 1 3 2 4 and 1 3 6 4 having the same number of n and the same number of staggered pitch so we can both will give the same results i will calculate for only one case 1 3 2 4 that's why i put tick mark there then coming to the path 1 3 2 okay and also 1 3 6 7 1 3 6 7 i consider it by this end to that end 1 3 6 7 how many holes are there 1 2 3 4 holes how many inclined lines are there 1 2 3 again 3 n is 4 stagger is 3 the path of 1 3 6 7 so it will give the same results to the n equal to 4 staggered equal to 3 case so need not to calculate once again if you consider the path 1 3 2 how will be there 1 3 2 again n equal to 3 staggered equal to 2 that is also other case so here I have minimize the calculations by putting tick mark by considering the which are the cases having same n and same staggered yeah so one two three three cases are there which formula has to be used for path one one two two for path one one two two how many n's are there two number of bolt holes stagger is zero to calculate that you can use this expression a n equal to b minus n d h plus sum of p s i squared by sum of so by 4 g i whole into t this is obtained from class 6.3.1 page 33 
let me go to that page let us see that formula see, see the this is the formula to calculate the net area which is having the staggered pitch and all p minus ndh if you are not having the staggered pitch means the whole the third term whole term sum of psi squared by 4 gi in terms of i whole term will become 0 into t so area is breadth minus ndh plus sum of psi squared by 4 gi into t where p and t are width and thickness of the plates where dh is the diameter of the hole g is the gauge length ps is the staggered pitch n equal to number of bolts in the critical path line i subscript is the summation of the all inclined legs if you are having a three inclined legs means you can use the term ps squared uh, psi squared by 4j into 3 if you are having two means 2 into psi squared by 4 gi okay like that you have to calculate this third term with the an see ps is the staggered pitch dh is the diameter of the hole b is the width of the plate g is the gauge distance okay for these cases we have marked the n and staggered pitch values let me substitute that you know where b, first case path 1 to 2 net area is b minus n dh b is 300 n equal to 2 number of bolt holes d h equal to 22 there is no stagger therefore the whole term is 0 whole into t that is the thickness of the plate we we'll get we'll get, we got the area of 2048 mm squared okay this is from one path next consider the path 1 2 4 for 1 2 4 already we marked that for the path one two four n equal to three staggered equal to one okay n equal to three staggered equal to one coming to the calculation one two four n equal to three staggered equal to so again same formula In the number of holes involved is three put n equal to three b again 300 mm diameter of the hole is again 22 mm In the sum of ps squared by 4 gi the sum is we are having only one staggered therefore 1 into staggered pitch is 50 mm gauge is 60 mm so 50 squared by 4 into 60 whole into thickness is 8 you can get the area as 1955.33 mm squared ok so for two cases we have calculated next consider the path 1 3 2 4 for this path already we noted that value of n equal to 4 stagger is equal to 3 again same formula b is 300 n here n value is 4 dh is diameter of the hole 22 then ps is 50 g is 60 but staggered that the number of inclined line involved is 3 therefore in, in summation i have put 3 into 50 squared by 4 into 60 whole into thickness 8 I got the area of 91946 mm squared. So for three cases I have calculated. Next, I have considered the path 132. That involves number of bolt holes as 3, number of staggered. Stagger is 2, that is inclined line is 2. So in the summation I have to put 2 again, same staggered pitch 50, same cause 60, same diameter of the hole 22 numbers only varies as 3 for this i have got the areas 2038.66 mm squared so for fourth all the four cases i have calculated the an minimum minimum value among the all possible failure paths will be the critical net area that is least among the four values because this one is 2038 this one is 1946, 1955 something, then 2048, the least will be 1946, that is through the path 1324, that will be your answer net area. By following this procedure only, we have to calculate the net area.